I was going to say good morning, but you could be watching this any time of the day, um, anywhere in the world for that matter. Good morning, I'm Steph Hunsley and I'm from Wellspring Massage Therapy. So I'm a massage therapist and I'm also a biofield tuning practitioner. And mostly what we talk about on the show is biofield tuning, but often um, because I'm a massage therapist, I integrate the tuning forks with my massage where I can. And um, recently in the last two weeks, I had the absolute pleasure of being part of a two-day workshop by um, a lady named Beth Buchamp, and she's from, uh, she's based in, in Nelson in the South Island, and she runs something called Myofascial Release Workshops. Now, I want to explain a little bit about, um, about the world of fascia, which is what we are entitling the show today. I'm going to read from my notes, uh, because I just want to explain a little bit about what fascia is. Um, if I can explain it in a, in a, in a simple way, um, fascia is something that in the world of, of our bodies has until fairly recently kind of been discarded. Uh, so in the world of medicine, when it sounds it's a bit gruesome, but when people um, volunteer their bodies for science, most of the time the fascia was actually stripped away from the body and sort of cast aside because uh, scientists and medical people were interested in looking at, they wanting to look at the bones and they wanting to look at the muscles. So the fascia, I was, I was brought up on a farm and my dad used, we used to get the, we used to every week get a sheep to kill and um, being, being a, a young kid on a farm that kind of was just, you know, a part of life and so dad used to kill the sheep and he'd hoist it up and to get, to get the uh, skin with the wool apart from the, the body of the sheep, he would pull the, the, um, the sheep, you know, the sheep skin off. Now, in between the body and the skin was this white kind of, um, almost looks like kind of like thick cobwebs. And so he used to have to pull that off the sheep. Now, that white stuff is actually the fascia. Now, a good way to describe it, I apologise for you vegetarians out there, but uh, so for, if you, if you had, um, a good example is if you've got the, uh, what do you call it, the, the leg of the sheep, you know, that a lot of people use it for soup and there's muscles and stuff, so when you're eating your meat, in the, in the meat, the, you, you'll see this little white, thin white kind of membrane, um, that is fascia, okay, so, our fascia is underneath underneath our skin, so it goes up from under our skin and it actually goes really deep in the body. So fascia covers every muscle, um, it covers every organ, and it covers um, right down to a molecular level. Now isn't that fascinating? So fascia even covers our cells at a cellular level. So a really good trick that we used to used to do a long time ago when I was in the lab and for many years we'd say, you know, if you're dehydrated and you haven't had enough water, if you, it'll be interesting to see what happens to my fascia, won't it? Because you hold your skin like that and if it takes a long time to go away, <gasps> I haven't had a lot of water today. Look at that, it's taking quite a while for that fascia to go down. So just underneath our skin, is the fascia. That's a really good place to actually see and you can, if you move your fingers, you can kind of feel, kind of feels a little squishy. If you've had plenty of water, it'll be squishy. If you're a bit dry, then maybe not so squishy. So that's the fascia. Now, um, the other place that is, is rather harder to get is on the back, on our backs, there's a big area of fascia. If you look at a, if you look at a um, picture of, of the body of muscles, you see this big white area like a diamond on your back. And that's around here on your back. If you put your hand around there close to your spine, it's really hard to get 
um, hold of a piece of skin. Well, there's fascia underneath there. Okay, so I'm just going to read a little bit of my notes from the notes that, um, that we received. So light ligaments and tendons, fasciae, are dense regular connective tissues containing closely packed bundles of collagen fibres. Okay, so they're flexible structures and they're able to resist great unidirectional tension forces. So it means it goes all sorts of ways. So, for example, if you, you've got two muscles together, so we've got two muscles together, and in between the muscles is the fascia. So if the fascia is not moving very well, if it is moving well, you've got muscles moving together, sliding, kind of like that. So kind of like perhaps in your shoulder, you've got all these different muscles moving on each other, which allows you to have a good, yeah, a good movement in your, in your arm, okay? Now, if your fascia is stuck, so the fascia can get stuck together. If you imagine you've got two muscles, they actually can't move, they're stuck. So you might have limited movement. So you might move your shoulder, for example, up like that. Or, you know, instead of really getting some movement. Um, so this fascia can get quite stuck. It's interesting about the whole um, making sure that you have you are really well hydrated because all these all these things in the fascia if, if, if you're dehydrated that fascia kind of comes thick and, and a bit sort of sticky and it doesn't doesn't really move very well so it can be injury and trauma to the body can cause that fascia in your body to really stick together so it does fascia does it does an awful lot of a lot of different things so it varies in density throughout the body. So it's thick over your abdomen, over your tummy, over your buttocks. It's thin on the hands and feet, as you just saw what I did there, it being thin on the hands, and it is thin on the feet as well. Now it helps to regulate body temperature. It acts as an insulator, and it stores fat energy. Provides a passageway for nerves and blood vessels. Um, streamlines nerve conduction and blood circulation. It stores water. It acts as a shock absorber. Um, and it helps to distribute tensile forces, so your movement. Allows sliding and movement. Enhances endocrine function as well. So it does all sorts of things. It forms a sheath for nerves and blood vessels. It does an awful lot of things. So, within the massage, I specialise in relaxation massage and also using the tuning forks on the body. So, that's the weighted forks that I use on the body. Now, the, when we were learning the fascia, so learning the myofascial release is a, it's a little bit different, yet, yet quite similar. And for me, in my practice, it, it's sort of an extra tool that I can use to help release tension and sore areas in the body. So the combination of using the myofascial release massage and the tuning forks on the body is actually really quite amazing. So when I've done uh, the mat, so with the massages with the myofascial release, say for example, we start on the person's back. So it's a, you don't use any oils or um, any waxes, any creams, anything like that. Sometimes if somebody had really, really dry skin or there was a lot of issues I couldn't move, I might use a really tiny amount. So it's putting your hands on the body and actually holding on the body um, a lot of breathing and basically I visualize my hands kind of sinking into the skin so sinking into that fascia so we're talking about the superficial fascia at the moment sinking into the body and what you feel what I feel is I start to feel I feel the warmth of their body um, and it's it's like um, a release sort of creating a space, if you like, really, 
for letting my hands move and go into the body and start to move very 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 slowly snail's pace sometimes even slower than a snail and so you're moving very very slowly now it's interesting it's really fascinating because um, I could feel before with massaging um, you know you can feel the tent the tense areas you can feel uh, trigger points and um, you know sensing into what's happening with that person's body it's not like you know we're not just slapping our hands on the body and 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 and, and massaging so it's um, it's it's quite quite intense and it can feel a little bit um, for want of a better word kind of like a you know sort of like a, a Chinese burn or a, sort of a pulling which is actually quite good because what what I'm doing is what's happening is is it's moving that fascia that that can get stuck so using the so it's yeah as I said it's it's quite slow it's a little bit different and so what I've been doing is combining the myofascial work and then doing some Swedish you know massage as well some some gentle stroke gentler strokes um, it's really interesting that the you know there is quite a discipline in working slowly I don't know about you but in this fast-paced world that we live in everybody is in such a rush and in such a hurry to get to wherever they're going and doing what they're doing this kind of massage really really is creating a space for you when you come along for a massage and to have to have it to have a session so it's really interesting with the fascia because when I'm using the tuning forks on the body wherever there's mus muscle tension in the body I can feel that through the weighted tuning forks so part of the biofield tuning there is something called a meridian flush that um, often people will come and receive now the meridian flush is an hour, hour sometimes a little bit longer hour plus session and it involves using the tuning forks for almost an hour on your body so when you're using the when I'm using the weight of forks with the meridian flush I'm keeping the activation high um, when I'm using the forks on the face I often let the sound run right down and that's for very very deep relaxation so when I'm keeping the activation with the forks um, up keeping the frequency up what we're doing what I'm doing is looking for that those those little bumps in the road that um, bringing the body back into a coherent frequency because like our cars like anything we actually do get out of tune everything in our body has a frequency all our organs have a frequency our fascia has a frequency our muscles have a frequency and so the tuning forks work with the frequency in your body bringing the body back into a coherent frequency so um, the weight of forks as I've uh, explained before I have on the end of mine I have feet on the end of my tuning forks with a uh, quartz crystal I, there's, you can get them with all sorts of different crystals on the end I choose quartz it's the hardest one and it allows the frequency a little bit more intense and sometimes the frequency will remain a little bit longer I find with these tuning forks and also really nice really nice slide on the body they don't they don't feel pokey at all they um, slide really quite nicely um, so when I'm when we're doing a um, when you are receiving a the meridian the flush I start with you face down and we do I do a spinal work, spinal walk up your spine and keeping the activation high with the tuning fork simultaneously so I have a leg activator that I strap to my leg so there's a little bit of a, a little bit of a trick and, and a little bit of practice to keep that activation going so you've got that frequency going in your body when you turn over and you lay on your back I use the tuning forks on your face and 
I'll just show you, I'll hold up this little picture here if you can see that. So there are meridian points on the face. Um, I don't necessarily use all of those um, areas, but there's a few different areas and I also, I follow intuitively as well with what I can sense going on in your body and also what the tuning forks are telling me. So we go face. We do the face and the head and then I start at the tip of your fingers so we start with the tuning forks activated right at the tip so right at the tip of your fingers you're laying comfortably on the table and I work the fingers and then work down to twice on the thumb and below the nail so as you can imagine, it's quite an intense session. By the time you go literally from the tip of your fingers all the way up your arm, shoulder right round through to the heart chakra or the solar plexus chakra, um, and you're feeling that frequency. And I ask you to, if you can't feel it moving up your arm, to visualize an electrical current coming from, from your wrist up through until your, to your solar plexus and then do the other arm and then I start then I start move down to your feet and so we start with your feet um, when you're having a the sonic meridian flush so you're, you're fully dressed leave your socks on if you want to um, and then do the I start the same but with the toes start from the top of your toes working down and then also with your feet I'm working with the tuning forks on the bottom of your feet so working those areas as in reflexology if you've heard about reflexology those areas in your feet relate to areas in your body so I'm using the tuning forks as well on your feet and then we work ankles and slide the tuning forks up your legs up to your knees and what I'm doing is when I'm activating and sliding on the body I can feel um, areas of um, let's call them dissidents where where the forks will really buzz quite strongly and that's usually an indication that there's stuck energy there um, and stuck fascia as you slide up the, the forks kind of literally sort of stick on the body so that gives me an indication that there's stuck energy there and quite often people are experience pain in that area and so I will activate the forks and I work my way up into the hip area and then into the um, sacral chakra just, um, just round about just below the belly button there um, and then I will do um, an alignment uh, and energy release above the body using using these forks using the weight of forks so as I said this session is about is about an hour an hour long so that I really feel like there's constantly things sort of been added to my toolkit so later in the year this lady's going to come back um, with some more advanced training which I intend to to um, undertake that um, and really looking forward to that um, it's always challenging when there's, um, but not necessarily new, I mean I knew about the fascia before, but the combination of it, because often I would, you know, you get these sticky areas in the body and it's really fascinating to me that that, that fascia, it, you know, is, is holding, holding back to be able to allow the body to work, uh, for us to work a little bit, a little bit deeper in the body. Um, so, so that is, um, is pretty much what I have to talk about today and so if you um, would like to experience the Sonic Meridian Flush, I have some people that come sort of every month and receive that. Um, they might have had a few, usually people have had a few biofield tuning sessions and we've worked through the different areas in their body, whether it be trauma, whether it be pain. Um, and they will come along and perhaps book um, book this. And I also say to my clients, look, if you if you are not feeling like you want a biofield session today when you come, you are most welcome to have a massage. So, you know, there there are different options. There there's a couple of different modalities 
that, that they can work with, or that I can work with. So it's, it's all about retuning the body, looking after our bodies, and um, working towards being well, staying well, lifting our frequency, looking after our immune systems, that kind of thing. So if you'd like to book with me, so Steph at Wellspring Massage Therapy, and I'm based at the Lotus Centre, which is 1028 St Alban Street West in Frimley, in Hastings. And um, you can pop on to, you can either Google Wellspring Massage Therapy or pop on to Facebook and um, have a look there at, at, at the different things that I offer. And there's some videos and things around too that, that you, can, you can have a look at. So I just wanted to wish you all very well and good health. And we will see you next month for the next show. Bye-bye.